Hey everyone, so I just wanted to show you guys the fun updo that I did to my sister's hair for my lookbook, which will be coming to my channel soon. And I just wanted to tell you guys that I just curled her hair with my Cortex 4-in-1, the uh, second to smallest size, and I just took the two side pieces, twisted them a little bit, and pinned them in the back with a bobby pin just to get the frame of the face. Now I'm just taking more hair and placing it at the base of our updo, which is where we pulled those two beginning pieces, and that is where you decipher how high up your um, updo is. I'm just going to keep pinning these pieces all into this middle section um, and letting the rest of the strand hang down. And I'm just going to continue to do that over and over and over and over again. As you can see, I'm pulling some pieces up. It depends really on how you want it to look. My look that I was going for was an all pulled up, so all the hair underneath looks like it is being pulled over the updo. So that is just what I'm doing here. Again, you just pin each piece once um, up to the base just like I am doing here. Then once you're done doing that, you take each strand again, you kind of swivel it in itself and just bobby pin it in that section. Kind of curl up the curl again and then pin it as I am doing here. And then you just keep doing that to different strands and different strands. And you, with this hairstyle, you can really just put a bobby pin wherever your hair needs it. If there's a stray piece, just pin it up really, you know, whatever. As long as it's going all the same direction, you will be just fine, I promise you. And as you can see, the updo is gaining some more structure here. Because I'm adding, I'm folding up curls on top of themselves, as you guys see here. Now, this is the completed, this is just how I completed it. I ate a straight piece, so really I just kind of tucked it up there, stuck a bobby pin in there. See how I'm putting that section down, and I'm going to put another bobby pin in it because I didn't like exactly how it looked. So I bobby pinned it again, and that's seriously all you have to do. It's such a beautiful look, and it. I do recommend that you have a mirror in front of you just to see how it is framing their face, because all their hair is pulled back, and you can't really fix it much later, because it is an updo, so all of her hair is back, and yeah, I'm just securing the sides just to make the front looking best as possible that, you know, I think and she thinks. So this, I'm just going to spray with hairspray, lots and lots of it, kind of pat it down so you can pat down some flyaways, notice any other pieces that you need to bobby pin, and just spray the heck out of it. And make sure to cover your client's face or your friend's face or whatever just so that it doesn't get in their eyes. And after you've done this process, you're all complete. You can add diamonds, rhinestones, whatever you'd like. This is the finished picture of her hair and makeup, and yeah, I just thought that her hair looks beautiful, and go check out my lookbook. It will be down below once it is posted.